welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you exactly how to move from wanting to allowing for the law of attraction process. Now understanding they may seem very similar, but the missing key for so many people is in this interpretation to being able to really match and become the person that is necessary to get the reflection that you want in your life. So the idea, as I say in almost all my videos, is that it's not necessarily that it, we attract what we want, but we always get a reflection of who we are being. Now, if under who we are being, we are feeling the resistance or a lack mentality that we don't already have what we want to experience, then what happens is, is that feeling blocks the experiences from happening and makes it something that ends up being prolonged. Now, the easy way to go about this is to understand when it comes to desire, the idea is that the desire cannot come from a scarcity mindset. The desire can come from a abundance mindset, which means that at a certain level, we actually trust in ourselves. We trust in the power of how our life is going in the course of our life. And when we have that, what we can do is with our desire, we are focused on the outcome of what we want to experience and we trust that process. Now, sometimes with desire from saying, I want something, it comes from a feeling of not already having it. And it comes from a feeling that maybe that thing we want will make us feel better right now in the present moment. Now, the difference is that what we can do is we can have a desire, but we can have it from a place of abundance, of a place from our cup is already full. We already feel bought into who we are. We already feel validated. And when we come at it from that frame, the emotions aren't being kept back because we are already feeling in alignment and resonant with it. Think about it in the form of resonance. If we are resonating with the desire, but we feel lack, we aren't actually able to perceive and bring in the opportunity that is necessary to have that kind of experience in our life. But if we have a desire for something, we trust the process and we allow ourselves to feel the emotion already, what we then begin to do is align certain circumstances to us and it makes it so much easier for us to experience it. Now, in order to do this, what you can begin to become aware of is how focused on the details are you? Maybe you're so focused on how it's gonna come. You're so focused on controlling all of those aspects. And if when you focus on those aspects, it brings about negative emotion, what you can begin to do is to go more general. What this means is that you simply go, instead of the how, you go to the what and the why you want it, what it will bring you. As you go from this limited perspective to the grand perspective, you release the resistance. So you can use this as a powerful tool to become aware of where you sit with how you feel about what you desire. Do you feel the positive emotion of allowing what you want in? Or do you feel the desire from a scarcity mindset? If you do, that's okay, but all you have to do is shift it in knowing that you are already whole and complete, that what you can then do is focus instead on the how and how that's making you feel, focus more on the why and the what. And as you shift the focus, you shift the energy, you shift the emotions. So the idea is that you can do this easily by simply deciding that you're going to focus on what you want and why you want it, remind yourself of that, and simply trust in your life experience. Now another part of this could be to let go of the outcome. Sometimes if we desire something so much and we resist it because of the scarcity mindset, we're so attached to how, once again, how things will happen, that's when the resistance keeps perpetuating itself. So simply let go of the outcome and part of letting go is trusting in the larger scope of your life. Focus on the why, focus on the what, and as you embody the emotions of already having it, you are more likely to perceive of the opportunities that can really bring that into your life. So. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you guys on the next bit. Peace, much love, namaste.